Hi there. I'm Dan Bernardo and this is Jonathan Martin and we're with Rose Costumes. Today we're going to be showing you how to put on our Ursula costume from The Little Mermaid. Buckle up, this is going to be a heck of a ride. Now, first things first, have your performer in the blouse and hoop skirt that we include with the outfit. Be sure to tuck the blouse deep into the hoop skirt. That'll help keep it secure. And be sure to tie the hoop skirt very, very tightly. With the weight and the amount of things we're putting on, you're going to need that sort of security. Next thing, we've got this. A watery blue overskirt. Let me pull this up. I have the performer dive right in. And if you could rotate slightly, I will pull everything down so that it fits appropriately. That looks pretty good. Let me get this edge. There. It'll cover over the hoop skirt, give you a watery look to it. Next thing we have is a pair of black panniers with seaweed fabric attached to it. <sighs> this number right here. Pull on to that side. Pass along to me. Let's get this lined up. And just like the hoop skirt, it's important to tie this securely. And I tuck away the knot. Now the part that's the most fun, the tentacles. I do them suction cup side down so that as you move and manipulate with them, you can have them revealed. Grab the side there. Good, good. And just as before, very tightly. Try to have them evenly spaced, but of course, as the performer dances and moves, they will move too. After that, we have an overskirt of seaweed. On that, we have a pair of little ribbons. So that you could tie it securely. I find that the color helps break up the dark shade of the peignets and the tentacles. Now, we've got all the skirts ready. Time to put on the corset. You can also use a waist cincher too, depending on how much breathing room you need for your performer. <clears throat> As a general tip, make sure the corset is laced, com unlaced completely, and that you start with the center prongs there. It'll help getting that secured. We'll also be doing a video for corsets, which you can refer to as well. But depending on how brave your performer, we can really cinch this in and give it a good, nice lacing, or something a little more breathable. This will do for this demonstration. And there we are. Next piece. Set of long gloves. There's a little elastic cord for the finger. And we like to pull them all the way up into the sleeve. And again, more seaweed to drape around the arms. There we are. Finally, you already see Jonathan's hair is tied back. We have a special wig. Wig headpiece combination. 
give Ursula that distinct wild hair. Just slip it right on top. Oftentimes we have points in there where you can bobby pin it, get it more secure to the head, and then you can spray color the remaining hairline like this to better match with the gray and purple look. A bit of a spin. Yes. One last time. There we are. And with that, the illusion is complete. Once again, I'm Dan Bernardo. This is Jonathan Martin. Thank you for watching our video.